in this video we're going to be seeing which AI model can produce the best Blender models. So it's going to be ChatGPT versus DeepSeek AI. Once I am in ChatGPT, I quickly typed kindly generate a Python script which will model an apple in Blender. Make sure to add materials and make the make it the best as possible. You are competing with DeepSeek AI. I just wrote it down because I know it's gonna do a lot more better and it just did it work and it generated the whole Python script. I was expecting very, very good from ChatGPT because it's been quite um old now, it's more advanced probably than deep seek in my opinion and i copied it and off we go to blender once i was in blender i went to the scripting workspace and i created a new script and then i renamed it to chat gpt so i can distinguish it between the other one once i did that i clicked confirmed and then i pasted it Control v and then as we can see we pasted it and then i pressed the run button and as you can see we got a little error, but I ignored it for this round only. And as you can see, this is the apple it created. It add, I think it added a displacement modifier or something. Um, a displacement. So it doesn't look that bad for ChatGPT. So now let's move on to DeepSeek AI. So in DeepSeek, I wrote the same thing. Can you generate a Python script which will model an apple and blender? Make sure to add materials and make it the best as possible. I keep it, I kept it the same, and I wrote, "You are competing with ChatGPT to add that extra element." And for for some reason, DeepSeek took some time to load and to actually generate the idea. And then it generated its Python script. As we can see, it looks cool. And it took a lot, a lot, a lot of time as well for DeepSeek. I feel like DeepSeek takes a lot of time. And once we had done that, I quickly copied it, went to Blender, go into the scripting, new, and then I pasted it. And of course, I had to rename it because I like the sound effect of typing and then control V to paste it. I was quite impressed because it, they attempted to add that little stem on top of the apple. But for this, you, there was just a UV sphere with a cylinder on top. But for ChatGPT, there was like a displacement modifier to it as well. So I'm not impressed with both of them. They can do a little bit more work. And plus, I said to add materials and none of them added materials. So let's go on to our next challenge. Um, the previous script was horrible. Now make a car in Blender. Once again, DeepSeek AI took a lot of time to load and then it started generating the Python script. Now, as you can see, it's a bit long and at the end, it gave us a short description. It just said um, what the script does. So it says it uses a scaled skew for the car body and it adds wheel and uses four cylinders for the wheels. And it says it adds some materials as well. You now probably know the drill. It's the same process, add a new script and then we paste it. Now, I noticed that I didn't copy it and it was the same thing. So I quickly deleted it and I quickly went back to um, DeepSeek AI. Then I copied it and then I went back into Blender. Then I pasted it and once we had done that, I quickly pressed the run button and I looked at the error this time and quickly fixed the error because as we can see, nothing is happening. It's just the original Apple. So I deleted the app and I tried again and it wasn't still working. And then I quickly set, I did quickly um, edited some of the code because Python is, I know some of the Python because I've been working in Blender for a long time. So then I quickly deleted the first part and I said run. And as you can see, it worked. And this is what the car looks like for DeepSeek AI. For ChatGPT, it was the same process. I did the same prompt. And as we can see, it was generating the Python script. But for ChatGPT, it edited it. And it said for the description, the car body was a smooth, sleek shape. And it had some black rubber material and was realistic. So we're going to put that to the test. So we went into Blender and as we can see, it pasted it. And we just run the code. As we can see, it was two just cubes that were just scaled in, in the x-axis. And we can see, I couldn't see any wheels. So when I zoomed in, into the cube because i was wondering where it was and when i zoomed in as we can see that the wheels were in the inside and as we can see they were actually looking at wheels but there was a breast that there was just a primitive shape it was, was just a cylinder that was just scaled down so that was the chat gpt car
So now you know the capabilities for both ChatGPT and DeepSeek AI. Now I want you to judge them. So in the comments down below, tell me who you think won.